Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for the second half of September. We're going to go ahead and pull cards from different decks that I prepared today and see what's going on. Sagis, keep in mind, not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading, so stick around, let's see what's going on. Sagis, if you enjoy this kind of readings, please do press the like button, subscribe to the channel for further updates. Let's see what's going on. We are starting today with the Soul Journey Lesson Cards. Ooh, that was quick. We have success jumping out there, Sagittarius. Beautiful. What else is here for you? Sagittarius, second half of September. Ooh, love is coming through. Great energy. Okay, worry. All right, okay, let's go ahead and start clarifying your cards and see what's going on. We're gonna start with the success card. I feel like you are kind of uh, floating on the clouds. Like I see you being very happy with yourself, being very happy with your achievements. It's just like, uh, you're walking on the water kind of um, energy that is coming through here. Beautiful. I feel like you're very proud of yourself and whatever this um, situation is. I just see you being very, very happy. Um, it, this is something you've been working for for a very long time. And uh, um, this is this hasn't been easy. Ten of inspiration is carrying the burdens, but also um, collect, uh, collecting the harvest of uh, your very hard work. And this is where the success is coming through here. Uh, some of you could be in communication business. Some of you could be in some sort of business that um, requires speaking, uh, mentoring. I'm getting that energy here. Uh, communication is coming through very strongly. Uh, um, I'm getting like um, cellular communications, uh, that kind of business. So, or this could be teaching business as well. A muse of inspiration, this is your career. This is your success in your career that is coming through here very, very strongly. You know, <laughs> look at this, queen of inspiration. Some of you are definitely um, coming into a stronger position in your career. Queen of inspiration, somebody who's in charge. This is a boss energy. This is a energy of somebody who has a lot of achievements in her or his career. It doesn't have to be gender specific, but I do see that this is the success that you are now reaching. You're reaching new heights here. Um, nine of voices um, uh, some worries are coming through here I am getting an energy that this road hasn't been easy um, there was a lot of uh, burdens that uh, you had to carry there was a lot of uh, things you had to overcome to reach the position that you're in right now for some of you you could be a little bit um, um, there is an energy of fear a little bit afraid a little bit worried about unknown uh, a little bit uh, worried about what's hidden for some of you this is uh, regarding your the team that you're working with this is about your colleagues this is about people that surround you here but nine of materials <laughs> look at this this is independence you're breaking free from this energy here and there is a lot of financial success that is coming toward you beautiful beautiful message there for you Sagittarius okay let's go ahead and uh, clarify this love energy what is that all about for you Two of Voices, Page of Materials, Muse of Emotions, Eight of Emotions. Nice, Two of Cups. Um, so the energy here is the energy of um, a romantic love and choices that need to be made in romantic love here for you. Uh, two voices, is, it feels like you are uh, on a crossroads here. You're on a crossroads, you're trying to choose the right path for you. For some of you, it's the path of either walking away or staying in the relationship where you are. Um, getting that strongly and it feels wherever you, um, whatever choice you make, you, um, 
it's you're not decide you haven't decided yet you're not sure what you're going to do but what you're going to do is going to lead you to happiness and self-fulfillment i'm getting that strongly here you are maturing you i feel like um you grew quite a bit emotionally i feel like you you are much more emotionally mature this time i feel like uh, there is this energy here of you um uh, being a little bit juvenile in the past and now you 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 are very mature and you know exactly what you want in your emotional connections you know exactly what you want in your love connections here and for a lot of you with eight of emotions you're walking away from a situation that you're currently in that's what i see here for you and look look at this as soon as you walk away there is a new beginning here for you a new beginning that offers stability a new beginning that offers a relationship that has a potential to grow with a lot of love this is a new love offer that is coming in your way and look at this two of emotions this is a divine union this is the love that is going to last this is two people coming together and there is so much chemistry between you two i feel so much chemistry between you two it almost feels like um, although it's a new relationship you know each other forever it feels like there is some past life connection here and you're almost kind of reuniting with this person there is a lot of energy of you being very comfortable with each other that's what i feel here definitely in your relationship though in this time uh, lifetime i am feeling that this is something new this is uh, somebody that you don't know yet but and this relationship the person that you're connecting to this is very grounded this is there will be no like you know games being played here or anything like that i feel like this person um um will be um telling you right away or showing you right away what is it that they want what is they desire with this connection and i feel like you're going to be this on the same page very much on the same page i'm getting a lot of comfort between you two like i said it's like as if you've known each other from previous lifetimes interesting okay let's go ahead and clarify this worry what is that all about for you night of emotions Some of you are worried about some sort of uh, news or some sort of information you're learning um, or you are being given, and possibly about the, um, a romantic partner, possibly about pa a past romantic partner here. Something that is kind of still um, on your mind. Yeah, definitely worries about the um, your love life here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it feels to me like uh, you could have been dealing with somebody in the past who was um, not very honest. So this could have been even a cheater. Um, Aquarius energy is coming through very strongly. This could have been somebody who presented himself, uh, who was, you know, nice to your face and everything and uh, presented himself as if they are committed to the relationship, but behind your back they were doing whatever they were doing. Um, I feel like this is something you've dealt with and... Uh, it feels to me like this person is kind of re-entering your energy. They either want to reconcile or they just want to come back in for another ego wrap here. I'm getting that energy here. And it does bring some worries for you. It brings some worries for you because it feels to me like you not yet seen any new opportunities in love although it is coming with the four of emotions. You, know, you need to know that it is coming. But it feels to me like um, it's not open to you yet you don't see it yet and this is why you you know still considering maybe even the person from the past so you're thinking if this is my only option at this time i feel like it's not i do feel like there is a new love offer that is uh, on its way and this love offer is going to be very fair this is two people that are equally respecting each other two people that are equally loving each other and this is something that is going to just create that harmony in your life so <laughs> My advice would be to stay away from the past because I feel like this person is kind of uh, uh, jumping into your uh, life uh, just before you are uh, about to open to a new relationship here. And I don't see them coming in a better energy than what they used to be. It feels like they're still in this distorted energy, the shadow energy here. I don't see that they've changed much, to be very honest with you. And this is, this is what's coming through. It feels to me like um, they still um a little bit two-faced here that's what that's what's coming through okay interesting well 
Somebody needs to know this. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. I want to pull some Kipper cards for you, Sagis, and get some specific messages of what's going on for the second half of September. Let's find out. have despair, change, courtship and child. Interesting. Let's go ahead and see if we have eight of cups coming through. Ah, well, not eight of cups, but ten of swords. So what I see here that some of you, um, you could be uh, worried about the changes that are happening again in your romantic love life. And this is because you're ending uh, some relationship here. And uh, I feel like uh, you're moving towards something new, but you're worried about it. Because uh, for some of you, there could be a child involved here. You could have a child with your pre previous or current partner that you're about to walk away from. And you are bringing changes in your romantic love life, but it almost feels like there's complications here there's complications there's people involved there could be family matters involved here and you're it feels like you're almost not very free to move towards a new relationship or you don't feel so free to move towards a new relationship because of some sort of complications here queen of wands is your energy sagittarius this is you this is you wanting that new love this is you wanting to be carefree and enjoy um love offer that is coming your way because there is absolutely a new love offer that is coming your way but you're still uh, thinking about the past you're still thinking about the ending the relationship that has ended and that's what's bringing that despair that worry and worry about the change you were you're worrying about the change you're worrying about start seeing new people some of you worry how your child is going to accept or not accept the new person here I'm getting that energy what I see here as an outcome is celebrations I do see beautiful positive energy I see you being supported so if you're worried about your family accepting the new person that you're wanting to date here I feel like they will I feel like uh, there's uh, quite a bit of a uh, positive and uh, supportive energy around you here and I do feel that this person will integrate in your family quite easily that's what i see there sajis let's go ahead and move this out of the way we're going to pull some uh, light sears tarot now and see what else we have uncovered what else needs to come through what else we need to know for this second half of september for you wow look at that ace of swords jumped out there this is a win this is a breakthrough Interesting, Ace of Wands kind of almost came up in the reverse here, which is such an opposite energy. Okay. Whoa. I feel like we are still on the subject of your romantic connection, Sagittarius. I do feel like uh, there is something here from uh, from your past that is wanting to keep you stuck or wanting to keep you um, attached to them. This could have been a karmic relationship. You could have been connected to somebody who's, again, like was a little bit two-faced. I feel like this person was not very genuine. They could have come across as somebody who's, you know, kind and that, but they had a, they had a kind of a little bit of an evil side to them. We're not evil but definitely deceiving one way or another i feel like um there was passion between you two and i feel like this person was very much physically attracted to you but there were not much of emotional connection this person could be very manipulative and i do feel like this person could be coming with an apology here towards you i feel like they want to have a communication with you but i feel like you're above this you already see them for who they are i feel like you're already moving towards your wish fulfillment 
and you wish fulfillment is somewhere else uh, chariot you're moving on there is a win there is a breakthrough here i feel like you're breaking through from this relationship here but the hangman you're getting a new perspective you're getting a new perspective of what you desire in the in the relationships and i do feel like you know that you want to move forward you want to move away from this and move towards something new again i'm getting a lot of family support around you i do feel a friend's support or sibling support there is some support group around you that is almost kind of helping you to overcome the situation because this person is very alluring they 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 know exactly what to say what to do to keep you stuck to hold you back but i feel like you want to be free you want to be free you've changed your perspective you see things from a completely different um, angle here and you are moving forward that's what i see i feel like nothing is going to change your mind here you're awakened to the truth here and that's it you're moving in a new direction this is what i see for you sagittarius these are the messages that came through today i truly hope that uh, this reading was helpful to you thank you so much for spending your time with me if you enjoyed this reading please press the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and i hope to talk to you soon bye for now